Welcome back, friends. Today I'm going to show you how I created this stamp using a side profile, and it could be even your own side profile. I just have one favor to ask you that if you learn anything whatsoever in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. All right, let's get down to business. All right, so I'm starting off with a workspace that is 1200 pixels by 1400 pixels. And I'm going to scoot on over to my left side. I'm going to search for a stamp border. And I'll use this one like this, this one right here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit larger to fit my workspace like this. I'm not going to change the color and I'm going to change it to a red color like that. Now that I have my stamp outline, I'm going to go back into my elements section and I'm going to place or search for a side portrait of an individual like this one here. Now you can certainly also update your own photo of a side profile, but I'm going to use this one right here. We're now going to go over to our apps and we're going to use this app called photo to sketch. I'm going to select it and we can see that it's already got our original image. I'm going to bring the filter strength down to two and I'm going to say transform and replace image. And here we go. So here is what it has um, created for us. I'm going to take this image now and I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into um, duotone and I'm going to change the both the shadows and the highlights to red. And I'm going to try and get it as close as possible as I can to the uh, border color. So I'll just take a copy of that. And I'll also um, change the highlights like that. And I can also use the pen tool to um, get the color. So you just select that and then go over to the border and it'll pick up the border um, color code for it to um, change the color. So I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe I'll make it a little bit taller like that. So I'll just leave that like uh, that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into, I'm going to close this first. I'm going to go back to my elements and I'm going to grab another box or square. And what I want to do with this square is I actually just want to create a border. So I'm going to drag it all the way down like this. I'm going to make this transparent and then I'm going to go into borders. I'm going to add a solid border and I'm also going to change the color for that border to red. And I'm also going to make it a little bit thicker like that. Now I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to take that border and bring it behind the head. I'm going to grab that head and I'm just going to crop it a little bit so that it's a little bit more neater and I'll keep it like that. I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'm now going to add a little bit of text to my design. So up here in all caps I'm going to type in Canada because I am from Canada. I'll just change the justification to left and I'll put that there. And I'm also going to add uh, another, some more text here. And I'll bring this one over here and try and match it up. I'll make this uh, left or right justified. And in here, I'm going to type in 40 for 40 cents. Now I'm just going to slide it over a little bit so I can go back to elements and search for a cents icon like that. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to bring that right up top like this. And I'll use that my control button to just See if I can align it a little bit more properly like that. 
and that is um, a stamp. Now if we go back into elements and we search for stamp, we also will find um, the um, elements that will kind of signify that your stamp has been used. And you can most certainly use this as well, like that, and make it look, you know, totally official. Let's see if we change that to black, that's what it would look like like that. Now, if you want to add a little bit of a grunge um, outline to the stamp border, we can also search for some grunge. And you can, you can also search for a grunge border, see what we can come up with here. Um, so here we can most certainly use something like this. So I'm just going to grab this and make this a little bit larger like this and I'll make that white like that and we can also just take a copy of that and bring that up here to add a little bit more of that grunge and of course we can move those two in behind um, the Canada and the 40 cents if you don't want the grunge to apply to the text but that is pretty much it um, for how you can create your own postage stamp using even your own profile, your own side profile. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. There are new tutorials all the time. And if you join my YouTube channel membership, you can join my live classes for now, my friends. I'm going to say bye bye. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave that down uh, in the comment sections. All right. Bye bye for now.